all right what is going on today youtube and we are back with the replays of the week now this is going to be a strictly uh george i believe his last name is holland um correct me if i'm wrong in the comments i believe that is his name but these are his replays and stuff like that and there's going to be six of them all right now i believe uh he's he's the one he's come play and then he's also Vieira, i believe that or vera or however you say the name so these are all going to be his replays for this week. So once again, if you guys do want to send a replay in or send me a deck to play or stuff like that, the email is in the description. Just go ahead and send it there. And then when I get time to, I will, you know, either play with the deck or review the replays for my replays of the week. So without further ado, let's hop straight in. And before we start, like always, if you guys do enjoy this video, if you guys, you know, like the channel and stuff like that, subscribe if you have not already. Leave a like and leave a comment. And also, if you guys can, click and add to help support the channel. Ooh, <clears throat> voice sounds a little rough today. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, he's opened up pretty decent with his Western name. Oh, damn, he's going up against Ice Bells. But I can, I mean, not Ice Bells. Uh, this card is named Ice Bell, but he's going up against Wind Witches. Oh my god, this is actually this is a very fucking good hand. But this Maxi shall stop him from doing uh, what he wants to do. Let's see who's going first. It looks like he's going first. He's going to equip the last resort to the tough. Now, I have not seen any of these replays, so uh, I'm just going along with it. I do not know what's going to happen. So, as you can, as you can see, the Wind Witches, once again, is going to start off with the Ice Bell, which is just amazing. He's going to get two draws because these are not simultaneous. These are separate entity. I mean, separate entities in their own. You want to go to the wing bell, clear wing into a, a crystal wing. Jesus, look, he just drew into a fucking broken hand. All right. I don't know why he continues to summon. I, I wouldn't have did that. But he attacks over the tough, which it doesn't die because of last resort. Oh, my God. Look at his hand. So he's going to start off with a twin twister. Um, use this. Oh, he's not using the spiral quick fix. Okay, he didn't want it. What's the name? See, that's what I wouldn't have did. I probably my take. I would have easily. What is this? Okay, I easily would have summoned. Uh, I would have summoned the quick fix, activate the fetch to try to bait out the crystal wing because I did have big red and stuff like that. But um, you know, let's see if it ends up working out for this. I, I mean, I I would have did that because I mean, you uh, probably would have got it off. Oh wow, he didn't even try to protect the crystal wing. That's amazing. So here you go with a princess sprite, and the, there it go. There it causes the print. It causes uh, the crystal wing negate, which is probably not the greatest negate. He should be getting. No, he's not gonna. Oh, I think he's gonna go Utopia. Is he gonna go Utopia? I think. No, there's Ghost Trip. Okay, well, there you go. Yeah, that's it. That's it for you, Mr. Crystal Wing. Oh, my God. You've double fully armed. Bam. Double activate. Banish that. Oh, he gets hit with 28. I mean, 1,228 and a 19. And this is this is looking like it's just pretty over. I don't know how he can come back. Well, he does have another Ice Bell, so that's can, that can do good. But the, fa the sad part is you can... Oh, he has... Oh, he didn't have enough left. And, yep. The only thing he can really do was going to win. So that did not I mean there we go. There goes Spirals with another victory. And Jesus Christ, this this didn't even uh, I didn't even admire. I didn't even admire the plus five deck going plus five. Let's see. What is his turn for? What did um he maxed? So he did do his things, but double quick fix. Actually, he used triple quick fix that turn. Double spiral resort. Look at this fucking field. Sleeper. A tough with double fully armed last resort and he had a spiral mission rescue even if he could continue his plays he could have kept ditching for quick fix and stuff like that so let's go and get into the second duel. and all right here we go against this with the second duel of the day and it looks like he didn't start off too good but you know he does have the pegasus he does have a uh, what's the name wait what did i say what the fuck oh he does that yeah it does have the pegasus to uh, attribute the bambuku and get this uh what's the name out oh well, i thought i pressed pause um, but he did, uh, <clears throat> wait, wait, he did tribute the Bumbuku to get a Toad out, and Toad's going to get him a Tornado. I don't know why he didn't set Tempest. Maybe he was scared of Twin Twister again. And the Golden match actually comes in handy because it literally stopped his whole play. Because now he can't do no Synchro plays. He can't do nothing else. And it looks like, it looks like, uh, Magic Specters might take this one. This is looking out of hand. I don't even know how you're going to come back. And then he gets another... Well, Shane, look at the back row on this, man. Goes in match. Warning. Uh, tornado, double Tempest. How is this going to happen? Let's see. 
He goes with the spiral super agent and he forces out one of the tempests, activates quick fix. This is gonna get banished. Oh my god, this is doesn't look like it's right. Alright, there goes the big red. Oh, he gets hit with a warning. And you know what? I I could oh wow, when did he have three? Oh sorry. Oh, okay. Spiral super agent was three. Then there he goes. He triggers the what's the name? What? Does he not have another A? He only plays one agent? I did not know that. Um <clears throat> I did not know you. I thought he played more. He does play more than one agent. Why didn't he trigger it? Um. Yeah, he could have special. I don't. Why didn't he? Is so, What? I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking because it goes in match. I guess it's. I don't know. He, he should have got an agent. I don't. I don't understand that. Um. I don't. I don't know why I didn't give him an agent. Oh, he, oh, he didn't destroy no cards. Never mind. That, that that was stupid on my part. But some is a fox. Uh, searches uh, Tempest, I believe, and then he uh, go ahead and activate it. Wow, the magic, the magic specter player, just wasting all of his trap guards. There's a lot of cards he did not even need to negate, and he's just negating them. He easily could have waited till Agent hit the field and then negate it, but he did not. He draws into a spell shadow and arrow because this is game two, and it looks like that's oh wow would have came in handy if he activated this big red. But there's nothing in the graveyard. Um, there's a Regeki. It doesn't oh, look like the Spirals has taken control back. He's Oh, he can't summon. I was sitting here wondering why he wasn't summoning. But Golden Match is putting in that work right now. Oh, he played the true Draco Phoenix. Let's see. Oh, there's the Twin Twister. That's it, folks. It looks like it's over. Here comes the Spiral. There, We're going off. We're going off with the Spirals. It, it's over. It's over, folks. And now it's just a matter of time to see what he's going to do. Jesus Christ. Oh, look. The Spiral... The spell shadow and arrow actually came in handy. It's actually a good side tech, I guess, against spirals. It hits most of our stuff. And it looks like that is the exact game for the uh, first game against Wind Witches. So let's get into the second one. And all right, it looks like uh, he's going up against a 60 card deck. And I don't know what did this man may be playing. Uh, what uh, Shit, he, he's playing everything. Look, he even got a fucking um, AB. He even got the ABCs in here. So now he starts off with a Goblin Bird, but he gets Strike. Let's see, does he use the Gold Strike? Yes, he does use the Gold Oh, well, Necro, what? I don't know what's going on here. And, ooh, look at that. That's a pretty good banish. He got rid of an Agent. He got rid of a Tough. Got rid of a Last Resort. Let's see what the Princess Sprite can hit. Oh, instant Fusion. Jesus Christ, that is amazing. Bam, activate the Super Agent. Calls the Monsters. That is a good card to actually have. The Trick Cloud may come in handy, but it looks like this man is not going to be able to <clears throat> actually come back. He's not going to be able to actually do anything. Now it's over because he's going to just go off next turn. Up, oh, didn't even give it give him a chance to go off next turn. Spirals take game one. Let's see what happens in the next. And here we go. Oh my God! Look at the hand in this thing. But he does side the DD Crow, which is an amazing card. Oh my God! Look at that. Now I would have probably just DD Crow the snow immediately, but you know what? Waiting is a good thing because you see right there it worked right there. Um, soon as I said it, he did it. Oh my God. Double fucking necro face has been hit. Let's see. What did he banish? Oh my God. Snow is gone. Farf is gone. Both two snows are gone. A Bujin. Damn. These motherfuckers are playing Bujin in two. Uh, <clears throat> he's also playing Bujin. Uh, well, let's see what else. Let's see what he banished. Double Gofu. One agent, a warning, utility wire, quick fix, a terraforming, but he already has a good hand. All you need is two terraformers. That's, I mean, not two terraformers. All you need is two quick fix and shit can go get popping. It starts off with a super agent and I go, yeah, so I, I was imagining he went into a quick fix because he's going to use his instant fusion. Go ahead and get Theseus and you guys can know what's going on and he's going to get rid of his, what's the name? And he's going to get rid of his union hanger while also getting a draw. Jesus Christ, this is just getting out of hand. Quick fix, discarding the drone. Search a uh, searching another last resort. Summons the sleeper. Equips the fully armed. Oh man, I, I really want to bump this card up to two. I probably should bump this card up to two. And look at B protecting, protecting the A. And as you can see, this is not game. So this dark hole is going to come in handy, but it's not going to be able to kill the uh, what's the name? It's not going to be able to kill the agent nor the sleeper. So that's a uh, that's a good thing for the spiral player. I don't. There's nothing he can do. He can't get out of this. Okay, well that works, but all right. Ooh, now that's pretty good. Oh, that still doesn't really do anything because once again, you can't target. You can't target uh, uh, the agent or the sleeper wise. He quit the last resort, and it looks like this game is over. Spiral's coming through with a victory, man. And let's get 
And then, then you know what? This bet, uh, they just had another duel. So let's go ahead and see the next duel they had. One of the worst transits I've ever had in my life. And as you can see, uh, yeah, the the you uh, the what's the name? The sixty card player did not open up the greatest of hands, but he does have that necro face. Oh, he's gonna go start the lawnmower, which is it's pretty good. I, that's actually pretty good. I, I, you know what? It is that one, so I can understand it. And look at the spiral hand. This is yeah, bro. You're you're losing. I can already see it was, it was Vajra. Never mind. I thought it was Vieira. But uh, it's Vajra. The, you, you guys can tell this game is completely over. Look at this. He's starting up. And the fact that he has a union hanger now makes the Ancient Fairy, like, not even lost for nothing. Bam. Just pop that. Go ahead and get the resort. Resort. Go ahead and get me a sleeper. Oh, I probably would. Okay. He's not going to go for game. All right. So I can understand why he's not going for game as of right now. Um, or he probably he would have got the super agent if he was going for game right now. Um, that actually, he could have actually went into the super agent and possibly got... No, I don't think I don't know about getting game because he, once again he had to pick he had to uh, what's his name pick what's right and you know that's always a thirty three percent chance so he's going the other route he's just going to set up for next turn he does have a twin twister solemn strike and where did he go where did he go how many cards he got now what is it uh one two three four five six seven eight nine so a plus three actually because you did go second so let's see. Uh, he's going to an ABC Buster, but like I, I mean, that's the end of it. There's nothing really he can do, man. Sleeper is just too good. Spirals are just, it's just too good. There's not really you, too much you can do about it. He already knows the next few cards he's drawing. That's not going to do nothing. Activate the Brigeki and it swings for game. And let's see what happens in game two. In game two, it looks like once again, the 60 card player did not open up the greatest of hands. But you know what? It's not my fault. And look, oh my God, spirals are just so good. Let's see how many. Let's see how many cards you can plus with. So he starts off with six. Let's see what's going on. There's a plus one already. Here's the plus two. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Oh, he just quits. He's not even gonna let him play it out. Wow, come on, man. Don't be a star. Don't be a sucker. No, nah, that was that was a sucker move, man. Let the man play it out. He, he just not gonna have. I don't believe he's gonna go for game this turn. I believe he was just going to set up the sleeper, um, a sleeper, um, fucking, uh, ancient fairy, Sylvan Sprite, princess Sprite with a super agent. That might've been game. I, that actually, that, that sounds like game. What is it? Uh, 1921. That's four. Yeah, that was actually a game. If he was going to set up all that, but thank you guys for watching. Shout outs to George once again for sending in the replays. Also, if you guys do want to send in a replay or a deck that you guys want me to play, once again, the email is in the description. Thank you guys for watching. One more time, shout out to George for sending us these lovely spiral replays and stuff like that. And I will see you guys next week. I will, I might be going to uh, Locals this weekend. I may be. Hopefully I do because I do want to play my spiral deck right before the links come out. But thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow, but on Monday.